the gentleman's book tag. That's what I'm going to be doing today. Hi everyone, I hope you're having a splendid day. I was tagged to do this tag by Ben, who also created the tag. Hi Ben, you're awesome. I will leave a link to the original video in the description, so go check that out. With that being said, let's get on to the tag. Action one, open the door. I can open my own door. What book or series really opened the door to a new genre for you? Up until I was 11 years old, the only thing I ever read were children's books. Harry Potter, Series of Unfortunate Events, Chronicles of Narnia, Goosebumps, all that good stuff. So one day I go to the bookstore with my mom and normally I would go to the children's section because that's what my parents let me read. I may have gotten lost, I don't know what happened, but somehow I stumbled upon this book, Meg by Steve Alton. This is the special edition copy, but this is the actual book that I saw in the bookstore. And it just caught my eye. I wanted it. I had to read it. So I walked over to my mom. I was like, hey mom, I like sharks. Can I read this? Is that a, is that a children's book, Erica? And uh, I say, yeah, yeah, it's a children's book. It's totally a children's book. It's great, it's fine. Can I read it? And so she buys it for me. This is not a book that an 11 year old should ever be allowed to read. And then I read the rest of the books. From that point on, I no longer stayed in the children's section and I read other things. So thank you, Steve Alton. Another thing, I hated reading classics, despised them. They were the worst until I read Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. And this book just changed everything for me. This is my favorite classic, but it just, it made me realize that they're not all that bad <laughs> and that they're quite good. Action two, pull out their chair. What book has a serious, I need to sit down moment? The Scary Stories Treasury by Alvin Schwartz. This is a collection of short stories, scary short stories. And in particular, there is a story in this book called The Red Spot. This story is about a girl who one night after sleeping wakes up to find a boil on her face. As the days go by, the boil on her face keeps growing. One night as she's uh, taking a bath, the boil on her face, it bursts and a swarm of tiny spiders pours out of her face everywhere. Every time I read this story, I have to sit down and tell myself not to freak out because I'm deathly terrified of spiders. I cannot read this story without wanting to cry and scream. So there's that. Action three, polite conversation. What book or series can you talk about nonstop? The true answer to this question would probably be Meg, but I talk about this book already too much. I'm gonna change it up a bit and say The Lock, also by Steve Alton. This book is about the Loch Ness Monster, and I could talk about this nonstop all the time to anyone, anywhere, any place, because I am a big nerd about cryptozoology. I find this book to be the perfect segue to spark conversation in the cryptozoology. I guess that's kind of weird, but it's so much fun to talk about and ridiculous. And I could just talk about the Loch Ness Monster nonstop for hours and then go on to a bunch of other crazy stuff for hours. It's a great time. Okay, moving on. Action four, the proper compliment. Pick a spin-off series that you see as a proper companion or compliment to the original series. I do not think I have ever actually read a spin-off series to a book. And if I have, it must not have been good enough for me to remember because I can't think of anything. Because of that, I'm going to cheat and do a spin-off book from a movie that I love oh so very much. So I'm gonna talk about my Pirates of the Caribbean book. Yay! This is probably my favorite book that I own because for obvious reasons. It's honestly just a book about the world of Pirates of the Caribbean. Everything in it, anything you can think of, and I love it oh so much. It's great. Action 5 part 1. Pay the check. What book or series seems to fit the bill of a nearly perfect or most well-rounded series? For this one I'm gonna go with a book that I actually read fairly recently and that is We the Drowned by Karsten Jensen. This book is nearly perfect, at least in my eyes it is. This book is so good that I actually already read it twice because I liked it that much and I cried both times because it makes me very emotional. If you like books that have to do with the sea, you would love this. So check it out, maybe, if you feel like it. And the last one, Action 5 Part 2, Split the Bill. 
Pick a canon couple from any book or series that you believe to have a proper respect for one another. I could not think of an answer for this at all because I guess I don't read enough romance. So I'm gonna cheat and go with a friendship that I think is wonderful. And I'm gonna go with Sam and Frodo from The Lord of the Rings because their friendship is so beautiful and the lengths that they would go to for one another just really makes me wanna cry. And so yeah, Sam and Frodo. And that's it, that's the tag. Yay, I did it. Because this is the gentleman's book tag, I'm gonna be tagging some guys. So I'm gonna tag Connor from Connor O'Brien, uh, Adrian and Dalton from Strip Cover Lit, do the tag, and Ben from Reading Rejects, do the tag. And I think that's all I can think of off the top of my head. So we're gonna go with that. Yay, do the tag. And that's it. The video is over. Goodbye.